Hello and welcome to Jungle Tutorial number 98. Today we will learn how to customize the notification. First we create a new app. We can create by hand or with PyCharm. Make sure it's an app folder. Now we create a Python module. It's basically a folder with an init.py file. Now we create a file backends. We need to import the Django model backend first. Create your own class and inherit from model backend. Now we overwrite the method authenticate. Now we can put your logic here how to authenticate your user. But for now we just print something out. And call the original method. Now we change the global setting file. Now we will tell Django where the new backend is. Important that it has to be a list. Now we run the server. Check it out on the browser. Login as usual. Everything still works and we see our printout. Now it's a good time to move to templates. We create a new folder accounts. And now we move the templates from home page folder. If you do it by hand, you have to make sure to change the use where it's being used. But PyCharm does it for us. We also should move the views. Now we need to import some additional things. Okay, that looks right. Now we need to create a URL.py file. Now we just copy the homepage URL file, paste it in the new file, and delete the unnecessary stuff. Delete not used imports. Now we need to rename the URLs. And of course change it in the templates. Okay, now we check it out. Oh, we need to put our new URL file. Okay, it still works. Okay, now we create a user profile. Just create a model and you can name it however you want. Add your necessary fields. Make sure you put a foreign key to the user. And of course import a user model. Now we tell Django where the user profile is. Just use appname dot model name. And you need to install your new app. Now we need to enter ZinkDB. Now in the profile view, we pass to the context the user profile. The request has the object user, and from user you call the getProfile method. Now we can use the profile in our method.
Now we need to create a user profile. Usually for that you will use signals. In the Django cell we first import the user. Then we import the user profile. And we create a user profile by calling the create method. Okay, it's done. Now we can check it out in the browser. But it should say mail, not m. For that we use get, field name, plus test play. Now we see the right value. Thank you for watching. Any feedback is welcome.